Um, we real good, but I feel like we can we can get better. We can keep getting better as the year go, and just at everything we do. So I think we won the best. We won the best offense in the league. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. Please like the video and subscribe. Our target is only a thousand likes. So, following the decisive victory over the Washington Commanders, led by Jaden Daniels, in week six of the NFL, Baltimore Ravens QB Lamar Jackson delivered a clear message about the game. The win confirmed what had been evident for several weeks, which is the Baltimore Ravens are serious title contenders. This time, they defeated none other than the tournament's sensation, the Washington Commanders led by Jaden Daniels. The game was closely contested, finishing with just one possession difference with a final score of 30-23 in favor of the Baltimore Ravens. Lamar Jackson was once again instrumental. Following the important victory over the Commanders, the Baltimore Ravens currently have four wins in six games, making them one of the strongest teams in the AFC North. I felt like I was playing against them. Yeah, I mean, like matching up with him? Nah, I mean, great player, man. Um, Two-time MVP for a reason. Um, he had a great game, but... You know, just know you go out there. Obviously, you keep that in the back of your mind. Like, man, we got to score um, because they got a quarterback on the other side that could put up points too. It was a big game. You know, two teams that have high expectations have been playing well. Did you feel like this? The atmosphere was more intense. Did you feel like it was? Did you feel that it was a big, big game? No, it was another game to me. Um, I don't know how everybody else felt, but I just felt like it was another game to me. Baltimore is well documented as far as their physicality on defense. Did you feel like this was probably the best defense that you have played against since you've been a pro? To this far, yeah. Uh, to this point, for sure. Um, obviously, what they do, um, how they operate, how they try to punch you in your mouth. And, you know, I think we responded well to that. Even without B-Rod, the run game was a bit of a struggle. Were they, did they do something specifically that slowed you guys down? I got to go back and watch the film. Jaden, um, wins are great, and last week you spent a lot of the fourth quarter on the sideline because they didn't need you. This time you're on you're on the field mm -hmm. and trying to come back. Did you learn anything um, about yourself? I, obviously, you've been in games like this before in, in, in college, but yeah. as a as a professional, have you did you learn anything today? Yeah, um, it's the NFL, and these was the type of games are going to come down to one score games, close games, and you know we got to figure out a way to pull those ones out. Jaden, getting Noah Brown back today. Can you just talk about the importance of that? Yeah, it was good to have Noah back. Um, obviously, he made some big plays. Um, the whole uh, pass interference on that, that last drive, um, that was huge. You know, I, I think if he didn't get hold, he would go up and make that play, um, make that catch. But it was, it was great to have him back. Um, just another veteran presence on the field. And then some more connections with Terry today despite the loss. Have you guys, do you feel like you guys have hit kind of a, a groove, so to speak, or do you still think you're kind of building that relationship? Yeah, man, I just think I'm still growing. I think everybody's still growing as a team. Um, it's first year playing with each other, uh, first couple games. So, you know, we're, we're going to keep growing from that. Jaden, do you feel that the, um, the Ravens defense were trying to keep you from running downfield, kind of keep you in the pocket more, or, or just their, their scheme? How, do you, how did you see that, assess that for today? Yeah, I, I believe so. Um, and try to limit explosive plays and, and keep me within the pocket and stuff like that. Uh, keep eyes on me. Uh, that's kind of how they were playing. Um, to that point, man, uh, kudos to them. You know, they, they pulled out the win. More. Robbie Wagner said he's been through this where you're kind of on a run and then you learn from these games. What was the coach's message to you guys? Yeah, um, these are the type of games we want to be in. And these type of games that we're uh, probably going to be in moving forward. And uh, you know, you got to be able to pull those out. Um, this is the type of game you want to learn from and uh, move on to the next. Jade, one for six on third down in the second half. Uh, it's one thing to see this Ravens team on film. or you know, What the biggest challenge in going up against them this afternoon, especially on the money down for you guys? Yeah, we just missed some opportunities. Uh, one of them, they, they got their hand uh, better on the ball in the second and five, and then the next play, I... I rolled out and had Noah open and uh, sold it. But obviously, they, they pride themselves on uh, getting stops and getting off the field. Um, and that was a good defense that we went up against today. Most positive tech, uh, takeaway this afternoon for you guys? Yeah, I mean, we're right there. Um, we're never going to give up. We're competing. We're fighting. Um, you know, we're moving on to the next. Appreciate it, Jake. Appreciate you. Thank 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 you.
just playing Raven football right now, I don't think that really proved anything like we we the best offense. You know, uh, there's always room for improvement. It's only like the what, fifth, sixth game, sixth game. Um, there's always room for improvement, though, because it was still ME's happening out there. You know, we still had tries where we, we should have put points on the board, the interception, stuff like that. Do you feel like this is the most balanced offense you've had here in Baltimore? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Somewhat. In a way, you can say, yeah. Because 2019, we we was pretty balanced until guys like you know went down at the end of the season. But uh, yeah, you can say that. Lamar, you talked about keeping your foot on the gas in games, and you guys I think scored five straight possessions before closing it out. What did it mean to be able to just consistently put up points throughout this game? Um, I, I really feel like we just proved ourselves right. You know, instead of just talking about it, we, we was about it today. Um, just putting points on the board. We started off slow. Um, even when we was um, scoring on those drives, I still felt like we was kind of off some way. But uh, like I said, there's room for improvement. We just got to keep stacking. Well, there's so much, so much about Jane Daniels this week. I know you always say, I don't play against the other quarterback. I play against other defense. Are you motivated by that, by all the hype about Jaden Daniels coming into this building? No, I believe he deserved all the hype he's getting. You know, he played a tremendous game out there. Um, they just came up short. Um, and he's been proving it. You know, uh, his rookie season, um, first six games, he, he's been playing amazing. Lamar, two, two 90 plus yard touchdown drives. That's not very common in the same game. What's the mentality when you take over Baron Year, deep in your own well, let's get from my backs against the wall. Uh, just get positive yards and try to finish with some points on the board. And that's pretty much what we did, those two drives. Lamar, we heard what Zay thought, you know, when he sees man coverage, he thinks, when, what, what is in your mind when you see man coverage kind of across the board with these weapons that you have? Who I'm going to throw it to. Because <laughs> I know once uh, whoever get the ball on that uh, play, um, somebody going to come back and be like, I was open. It's like, bro, only one football. <laughs> like, I can't throw it. Throw like this, like you know, so um, like just pretty much just getting into our, uh, one of my guys, one of my guys, let them do work. Well, well, our season, season has been uh, double digit leads entering the fourth quarter, you go in with one. 14 points and it never gets relinquished because it's like you were mentioning previously that scoring in the fourth was important for you guys and we're able to do that today. Just what's the satisfaction there? Uh, not just scoring in the fourth, you know, uh, just every opportunity we out there on that field, uh, my offense, we just trying to put points on the board. Um, we don't like coming up short, you know, we bust out behind and practice, you know, against our, our scout team, first team, it don't really matter, trying to put points on the board. So we get in the game, it's like we're not seeing these guys every day. We should be able to move the ball and, and find little hiccups in their defense to put points on the board, and that's what we did. Lamar, well, has having Derrick Henry increased your confidence of when you have to eat clock and, and have those game-ending drives? I always got confidence, but definitely. Uh, <laughs> definitely, man. Um, we just know he just need a lane. Uh, he going to do the rest, man. And every time it's like a little crease, he always just go full force and just get, get many yards. Lamar, after the, the, after the uh, interception on the first drive and mm -hmm. the uncharacteristic snap by Tyler on the second, I mean, what do you say to your guys on the sideline? What, what, was it a frustrated sideline for, for a minute there? Or? I mean, we know we just have to deal with it. Um, when we watch a film, we gonna get on each other. Like that was some BS right there. But uh, we was good. You know, we didn't blink at all. We was, you know, we gonna get an opportunity. We just got to put points on the board. Our defense stopped them. We went down and executed. We just got to keep doing that without the uh, MEs, the, the mistakes. How exciting was to get Mark Andrews involved in the offense today? Oh, it was dope. Uh, I told him la last week he's supposed to score. I threw a bad ball. I threw a bad ball. He was open on um, to the left side of Cincinnati, and I told him, I'm like, bro, I gotta get you in the end zone next week. You know, I was, I was ticked off with myself. He was mad at me too. <laughs> but he didn't say nothing about it though. He like, he like, we good. Like he told me, he was like, I was mad at you at first. I'm like, bro, I was mad at my damn self. Like, you ain't gonna be madder than me, you know, but uh, it was dope to get him in the end zone, man. Um, he hasn't been there since, what, like week 10 of last year or something. But um, it was dope, man. There's many more, many more to come. Uh, Lamar, um, you know, you're the, now the second leading rusher, rushing QB in NFL history. It's only Michael Vick ahead of you. Um, I know you grew up really liking Mike. Um, what does that mean to kind of, it's, it's just the two of you at the top of that particular leaderboard? I mean, it's dope. Uh, not just because, you know, it's Mike Vick, uh, number one, but it's like all the great guys who I'm in great company with, you know, Cam Newton and stuff like that, uh, Stephen McNair, like all those great guys um, who was before me. It's, it's just great to be in discussion with those guys. We do two more. Why did you come into today feel like it could be a big day for St. Flowers? 
I come in feeling like any guy can have a big day. G, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, we just got that type of that type of mentality and the guys who's around us. Lamar, what's it say about this offense since they had what nine for one thirty in the first half? You didn't catch a ball in the second half, but you guys didn't slow down at all. It's a picky poison offense. That's, that's pretty much what I've been saying uh, since camp when we uh, got Derrick Henry and stuff like that. And then we got Mark, Zay, Isaiah Likely, um, Bateman, uh, Nelly, Charlie, uh, Patrick Carr. Like, we got all these guys, Tylen Wallace. We got all these guys um, on our offense. Justice Hill, I can't forget about Justice. And our offensive line, you know, the whole unit. It's like we got we got guys who, who, who want to work, who want to win. And that's just pretty much what it's showing out there. All right, thanks.